Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how we pour a 50 by 40 garage slab. So this is a concrete slab for a big garage, 50 by 40, and part of it, part of it, 10 by 40 of it, is actually a carport. So this is a garage slab slash carport slab all in one. And the part that's the carport is that, see where that thickened area is right there in the slab, that we call that a haunch. What do you guys call that? Some of you guys call that a beam. Some of you guys call it a haunch. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys call that. So from that, that thickened area towards the laser there where you have like the green styrofoam, that's the carport area. So that's 10 by 40. And then the rest of that slab is 40 by 40 is for the garage. So we're starting down there in the shade. Pouring, we got about four, I think it was around 45 yards we're pouring here in this whole slab. It's a six inch slab. It's got two by 12s around the edges, so it's 12 inches thick around the edges. And then it's got that, that thickened area all the way around the outside edge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour out this concrete. We're using a 4,000 PSI concrete. We're vibra screeding it. So you get to see how we vibra screed, screed a pretty, pretty big slab like this. We're using MBW's Viber Screed today. Um, we really like their Viber Screed. It's nice and light. It runs really good. It's called the Screed Demon. So if you're looking for a Viber Screed, you know, I would definitely check that out. I got a link for it down in the description. Also, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, my name's Mike Day. I specialize in all types of concrete flat work. If you're new to this channel, if this is your first time watching me, then go ahead down there and hit subscribe. I I come out with a couple videos a week that's all about concrete stuff and hit the hit the notification bell too and hit all on it so you'll be notifi notified of all my videos that come out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm shooting a wet pad in there using that laser you saw earlier and we're, we're making a pad in the middle that's the same height as the outside form, top of the outside form and that's what we use to screed by. We call those wet pads. So we'll strike that wet pad with a with a hand screed, and then we'll use the vibra screed to screed everything else. And you can see how easy that vibra screed goes. If you guys are looking to learn how to form and pour and finish concrete slabs like this, you know I got a course that'll be down in the description too, guys. You can check that out, my concrete slab course. And then I also have down there the concrete underground where. I teach you all different types of concrete skills, how to pour concrete, how to finish it, stamp concrete, how to run a concrete business, all kinds of stuff down there on the concrete underground. So if you're interested in a higher level of learning, that's the place you want to go. That's the, the private membership site you want to join. And that'll give you a lot of access to me too, to ask questions and you know to coach you, to mentor you and stuff like that. So we're getting, I think we're on the, under the third truck right now so we get about 20 yards poured out and we're starting on truck number three we're getting as much as we can pulled out towards the center of the slab it's about you know 20 feet to the center of that thing and we couldn't get the truck right up close to the forms because just the way the landscaping was on the outside the grading it wasn't that great on the outside plus we got a lot of braces you can see those two by four braces kind of holding the forms in place and we didn't want to get the concrete truck too close to them either. We got wire mesh in here too. And we got what we call slab bolsters under the wire to hold it up into the concrete. That's why you don't see us pulling the wire up at all. Because we got those slab bolsters under it. Those are two inch slab bolsters. So they keep it up off the ground. Keep it up into the concrete a little ways. We also pull our concrete with fiber mesh reinforcement too. So we got... Two types of reinforcement, plus we got a double row of rebar that we that we set down in the concrete around the edges. And we'll push that down about two to three inches from the surface. So I got one guy that's just doing that, keeping an eye on putting the rebar in, and then also keeping an eye on the forms to make sure they stay straight. And then we get the rest of us pouring the actual concrete. You can see now Darren's making a wet pad using the grade stick and the laser. And then that's Luke and I right there. We're striking those pads.
to give us to give us what we're going to go by when we screed using the Viber screed. Yeah, you can see how we flatten that area out in the middle. And then that makes it real easy to Viber screed. I mean, to Viber screed, it's pretty much just setting it down on the concrete, watching your two ends, making sure they're not digging in or, or rising up off that pad. And then most of the work is done by the two rakers there. You know, I got Tia there on the left and Sydney on the right. They're raking the concrete behind the, the Viber screed, and that's those are the two really important people. Making sure that concrete doesn't get too low, making sure it doesn't get too high, keeping it just as close as they can to finish grade without getting it too low. So Darren's over there on the left, he's magging that edge, making sure the form is straight, getting that bay ready for the Viber screed. I'm starting in on the fourth truck making sure he's at the right slump and ready to go when we need him. Getting that poured out so Luke can finish out that bay. And that's the process. I mean, there's, there's six of us here pouring this slab, which is, there's plenty of people. I mean, me, Luke, and Darren have most of the experience. Luke's been doing it about 20 years, Darren about 25 years, I've been doing it about 40 years, so we got quite a bit of experience between the three of us. And then this is Tia's second summer doing it. She's in college. And Sydney's brand new. She just started. And then the guy in the back there, Jeff, he's just helping me out for a few weeks. So he's just he's kind of temporary help. And then out back where you see the excavator, we got a a house slab we're going to do out back so these people sold their house and they're moving here and we just happened to to do the garage slab first they got that ready first now they're up back getting the house slab ready so that'll be coming up in a future video also coming up is we're going to put a knee wall around this this garage slab an eight inch high by eight inch wide knee wall so that'll be coming up too on a later video so if you want to see how we do that, how we form that little knee wall, pour it, get it all nice and flat and level, and then put the anchor bolts in it, you know, make sure you come back and stay tuned for a video that'll be coming up relatively soon on that. I'll also have a link for it at the end of this video, so you can check that out too. So this is the basic process, you know, we, sh we get the concrete dumped out, we get our pads, our wet pads shot. And then we strike them using the hand screed. And the reason we use the hand screed to strike our wet pads is because we want to be really, really accurate on that on that pad, getting it really level. So we don't want too much vibration on the on the wet pad itself. Then once we get it struck, and then we're fine, then we can use the vibrating screed to screed the rest of it. But we're pretty fussy when it comes to getting things as flat as possible, as level as possible. So we always, we're always checking it with a laser to make sure it's nice. We don't want, you know, we don't want any big humps or big dips in this thing. And once we get it vibra screeded, you know, you can see the bull float there. We got, we got the bull float with four handles on it, so we can reach at least halfway across this slab. Over here, now we're in the carport area. In the carport, we, we got a 10-foot screed there. And the reason we're hand screeding it is because it slopes about an inch towards that outside edge there, that edge kind of towards the excavator. So we're not using the Viber screed over there because we don't want the concrete to sag at all. So we're just hand screeding that nice and, nice and slow and easy so we get our, our slope just where we want it. And that part of the slab is just is going to have just it's going to have a roof over it, but it's going to be open, so there'll be just some posts on the slab up to a roof, so the guy can you know park a boat under there, stack wood under there, do whatever he wants under there later on. So we're on truck number five, just finishing up, making sure we don't get too too much concrete in there, so we don't have to shovel any out. We'll get that screeded down as close as we can without running out of concrete. And if we need any more, we, you know, we'll just put the chute back down and, and run a little more in there. 
The concrete driver is nice and patient. You know, they'll wait for you. I wouldn't make them, you know, if you're doing a slab like this, don't make, don't let the concrete driver rush you. Take your time. If you're too slow, then you just have to pay a little extra for, you know, his time on the job. But if you're, uh, if you just keep working steady, you'll, you'll get this done so you won't have to pay any extra for wait time. This whole slab, about 45 yards, 50 by 40 slab, this took us about an hour, and I think it was an hour and 20 minutes, just over an hour to get this thing poured, just to give you an idea of how long it took us. So, I mean, you know, we weren't hurrying or anything like that. We took our time, made sure it come out nice and flat, but it was, it was a little over an hour it took us to pour, you know, 45 yards. So that's it for the Viber Screed. We did all the flat area. Now we're just finishing up the slope part. Then we'll get this thing bow floated. So again, if you're looking for a, a higher level of learning, you know, go ahead and check check out the concrete underground below. If you just want to learn how to do a slab, you know, check out my concrete slab course. And also I got a couple other slab cor uh, videos popping up here, so you can check them out if you want. But again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video, guys.